Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are starting off a brand new week of future stars in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. And I want to just kind of ask the question, is all of this content that we are getting, or especially the leaked content that is not out yet but is coming soon, is all of this content kind of just impending and actually going to drop the market over the next couple of days as people focus on more of the SBC side of things? Player SBCs, upgrade packs we potentially would see on Monday today as a part of this promo. We'll talk about that and all the other Monday content that we could maybe see today. But also just in general, as we go throughout this week, I really do think there's a possibility for a lot of great content to be coming through the SBC tab. And when we have a focus on SBCs in this game, that drops prices on the market. We've already started to see prices dropped, as we talked about in yesterday's video, of course, with the big SBC leaks like mid R9, all those other icons, Baby Zidane, Prime Drogba. You've got a flashback Gareth Bale that is coming soon. We have a brand new French center back SBC to talk about today and some new Academy Objective players to speak about. So I think all of this content that is not market related is pushing people away from some of these, you know, future stars items that are on the market, uh, which we still don't have a quality search filter for, by the way, EA Sports, that that needs to change. Um, but most of the hype, apart from, you know, a couple of these players, is mostly on the SBC and the objective content that is on this game. So that's why I think there could be some price drops throughout this week on the market. And that's what we're going to talk about today, as well as look at Monday pack and SBC content that we might be seeing inside of this game. So if you're enjoying Future Stars or maybe just enjoying the hype around Future Stars, make sure to hit a thumbs up on this video and, of course, subscribe if you're new. Now, I want to start talking about these brand new players right here because there's some very interesting things here. I did not know about Ferran Torres, Elmas, and then here's our Tomiyasu, right? We've been talking about Tomiyasu for, for a few days. Instead of an SBC, he was actually released into packs. With the dual potential mini release, like we talked about yesterday. Now, Ferran Torres looks insane for this card. Now, these cards are going to be in packs for seven days, going from Sunday to Sunday. And then next Sunday, as a part of Future Stars Team 2, there is going to be, as you see here, the bottom set of players. So, a right wing Ferran Torres, a center attacking mid Elmas, and a center back Tomiyasu. Now, the cards that they dropped today, this Ferran Torres is, of course, catching everybody's eye right now and he was extinct at 1.3 million coins which i think even though uh this card does look really really good and really really insane um they just updated his price range by the way he's about 1.44 1.45 million coins right now at the moment yes this card does look absolutely cracked the position change from right wing from his base card the stats that he has, four star, four star, of course, now being at Barcelona. I mean, this is a really, really neat card, and a lot of people wanted to get their hands on it, which is why I think he was extinct at 1.3 mil. If you look at the rest of this team of players, though, yes, this does remind me of Ansu Fati from last year, and Ansu Fati was very expensive, but I still think that 1.4 million coins, I don't know how well this price is going to hold up throughout the rest of the week. I think he's going to be below 1.3, 1.2 million coins. I really think this is like a 1 million coin card. And I think if we have some big SBCs later on this week, like we've been talking about coming out in this game, I think that's going to hurt the price of this card. And I do think that he's still in packs for the first day yesterday on Sunday is kind of at his most expensive point right now. Because again, yes, the, the cards that usually get released through the mini release are more rare. Um, but he's also going to get hard, get hit hard by lightning rounds. If you think about it, this card's going to get hit later on this week on Friday, Saturday, Sunday with more lightning rounds, uh, Friday and Saturday specifically, um, that's going to bring some more supply and more panic selling to this item. So just kind of keep that out there as we head towards Team 2. If you really want to look at that um, card for your team, Mr. Ferran Torres. But he was extinct at 1.3 mil. And I hope if you guys bought any of those that you're selling them off because his price is dropping. Now, we had a couple other cards. And I want to look at Tomiyasu and um, I forget the other guy's name, Elmas, really quick. Tomiyasu is about 90,000 coins for the right back version. Five star weak foot, medium high work rates is not the best unless you really want a defensive center, uh, defensive right back. But this guy, is, he's built to play center back in the game, right? 6'2, medium high work rates. That five star weak foot is really, really dope. Really good defensive stats, a little bit low on the composure and the reactions. Um, you know, but still, with a chemistry style, you can get some of those stats up. And this is a really good, cheap um, player from the Premier League, which, of course, with his transfer to Arsenal, 
is pretty hyped, right? And he hasn't had any special cards this year, and he finally has one. So Tomiyasu, there's a decent amount of hype around this card. And then EA Sports did a really interesting thing here with this Elmaz. Um, so he is a center defensive mid card, and then his secondary um, dual potential release is going to be a center attacking mid card. But they gave the CDM version five star skills. That really makes me hope that the center attacking mid version that they are going to give this card this next Sunday, a week from now, is also going to have five star skills. And hopefully they flip the work rates around instead of having medium high work rates. I hope he has high medium. So I'm very interested in that card because it looks kind of like a cheap beast, especially if he does have five star skills. But those, again, are the brand new cards that we saw yesterday in this game. Now, yesterday, we also had the Calvert-Lewin SBC, which has me looking at a lot of English Premier League strong links because this card, if you know, I hate to say it because I love the Harry Kane flashback SBC, but this is a cheap version of Harry Kane and honestly, probably better in terms of playability and in the meta of FIFA. More pace, more agile, and he has the four-star skills to go with him. Now, I think Kane's shooting is definitely better, but 99 heading, 99 jumping, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, four-star, four-star, and this is a flashback to his FIFA 19 Future Stars card, if you guys remember that. So this SBC is coming in at around 120,000 coins, and I think a decent amount of casuals are going to end up doing this SBC because it's a brand new English striker, pretty good stats, and it's not that expensive, right? And people have some rewards today. They've got some rewards from the weekend league. Um, and, you know, a lot of people I still think have some SBC fodder in their clubs after the, all of the team of the year packs that were opened over the past week or so when team of the year was going on. So I think that's part of where, um, you know, I think people will go get the rewards today and maybe go do that Calvert-Lewin. So I'm kind of keeping an eye, maybe cards like Phil Foden, stuff like that, that might rise up a little bit today, or maybe even from this brand new team, Emil Smith-Rowe, right? If somebody today gets their weekend league rewards and says, hey, I want to go do this Dominic Calvert-Lewin and I'm going to link him up on his side, maybe they're looking at somebody like this Smith-Rowe to link him with. Now, I know he's 600K, but if you got some coins and you want to try a brand new card out, I mean, this card is very, very hype as well. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. And the content from yesterday was decent, right? Nothing crazy. Those three new players, Ferran Torres is very hype. Tomiyasu is cool. Elmas is pretty dope as well. And then Calvert-Lewin is, you know, a GG. So that's kind of where I feel with the content yesterday. It didn't really impact the market that much. Now, again, where I really feel like the market's being impacted right now is people selling cards because they're afraid of the content that is upcoming, right? Cristiano Ronaldo, team of the year. 6 million coins. This is down like five, 600,000 coins from where it was 5.99, as you can see right here. And as we look at a lot of team of the year prices, a lot of these cards keep going downwards, right? Um, we look at Kevin De Bruyne, 1.8. I saw him at 1.8 flat. He's 1.87 right now. Marquinhos is still kind of low. Messi's 3.2. He continues to drop. Mbappe was actually at like 6 million coins flat on a really low point yesterday. You can see he was down at 6 mil flat. He did bounce back a little bit to 6.2, so not even a 5% bounce back. But a lot of people have just been continually selling cards because they're worried about this big man getting his SBC. And people keep selling this R9 as well as we get closer and closer to the potential date that this would be released. Now, again, we don't know exactly when it is coming. I don't know if it's going to be today, but there's going to be more panic selling when this SBC drops. It's almost inevitable. And one of the things with weekend league rewards today, and one of the reasons I think people are starting to sell all of these uh, types of cards is they're just starting to prepare, right? And we talked about this yesterday a little bit too, but people are just going out and they're, they're starting to maybe invest a little bit in SBC fodder. Now we haven't seen prices, um, you know, keep, you know, crazily going higher. Like Kane is 46,000 coins, right? We've been looking at him after the leaks that we saw on Saturday, right? Kane was like 43, 44K, jumped to 48 and is now kind of back down in that 46K range. I feel like today on Monday as well, you're going to have some people that might get their weekend league rewards, go out and buy some SBC fodder. So if you want to get a little ahead of the game and you know get some fodder in the club if you don't have enough, I still think there is a couple ratings. You know, 88s, if you can get them at like 25K, you can get 87s at 20,000 coins or less, maybe 18, 19K, maybe some 85s at like 8,000 coins or some 84s lower around 3,000 coins. You know, I think that some of this fodder has potential to rise later on this week. 
because again, all of the crazy SBCs that we have leaked, right? Again, I, I mentioned the R9 SBC. We have a Zidane baby that is uh, a part of that release of SBCs that we are expected to see. Prime Drugba is in that expected release as well. So these cards are going to be coming out as SBCs, and people, I think, are going to start preparing for that as they know that content is coming. Flashback Gears Bale is another one, right? And then we have a brand new SBC leak that was tweeted out yesterday. Badia Shield is a perfect link, as you can obviously tell from this card exactly. Looking at the card, perfect link to a very hype card inside of Future Stars, which is this Chalmeni. So perfect link from Chalmeni to this body of shield now in my opinion this this sbc these are not confirmed stats by the way hopefully ea give him some more pace this guy will have a very interesting looking card if he gets a big boost and i think this would be the type of sbc that ea would make really cheap and they would make a lot of people very interested in it now the big thing about this card is he is left-footed. And for a lot of people, there's not a lot of left-footed center back that they, that they like to go to. And he has some pretty good base stats in defending, right? You think about 77 defending. If they're going to give him a boost like this and he's going to have high 80s defending or maybe even 90, he's going to have really, really high defensive stats. All of these are going to be in the high 80s, maybe even touching 90 on a few of these. And he's going to have like maxed out strength. He's going to be very strong. It's going to be a wall, right? He also is going to have very good passing which some people value, and especially as being left-footed, you can play that French center back on the left side. And, you know, he does have a three-star weak foot, but a lot of times you run into issues passing it to the left with a right-footed center back on the left side. So a lot of people will find value in this card if it is boosted enough. Now, there's some big issues with this card too. 37 agility, 37 balance, and 34 agility. He is six foot four. He does have medium-high work rates, and he has high and average body type. So... I'm very curious to see how much this SBC comes in at, and it might be a very interesting card, but I think this SBC could cause some hype, and I think it's going to be decently soon. At least I kind of hope that it is. Um, you know, it's been leaked pretty recently, so I would expect the next couple of days that this could be dropping. But again, that's just one of the other SBCs, like we talked about the Gareth Bale and the R9. You know, there's a lot of leaked content still right now at the moment that could be dropping very soon, and, and that's why I really think that, you know, Yes, people have started to sell off some of these cards, like even some of the Team of the Year honorable mentions that we have been watching their prices rise over the past couple of days out of packs on the weekend. Uh, but some of these cards, they're starting to drop again, right? Goretzka was up at 460,000 coins. Right now, this card is down to like 430K as people have kind of sold some cards off this weekend. Whoa, 414. I mean, there's 20k of tax here, and if I knew this guy was going to go back to 450 or 460, I would buy these, but I'm really not confident that he's going to. That's a pretty big drop off in price in the past couple of days. Chiesa went from 220, 215, all the way to like 240. He's now down 10,000 coins to about um, 230 and dropping underneath that. You have guys like Jonathan David, who a lot of people invested in because of how well his Winter Wild Cards item did. Um, out of packs. I thought this guy was going to do pretty well out of packs, but he is sitting now at 70,000 coins just sitting here on the market as people are continually undercutting this card. Now, you can still do some position change in chem style trading with this guy. You can get him on snipe probably for about 70k, maybe 68, 69,000 coins as a center attacking mid or a center defensive mid. So you can still trade in this market. I mean, absolutely. I, I traded with a bunch of the brand new Future Stars cards today. Uh, the Future Stars... Um, Tomiyasu, like with the shadow or the future stars, um, the new, I, I can't for, remember this guy's name, Elmas, Elmas, I keep forgetting Elmas's name, but I was buying this uh, Tomiyasu with the shadow for like low 80s and selling him in the mid to high 90s with that shadow chemistry style applied to the card. So that's something that you can be doing on this market as people are still trying out some of these brand new cards. And these cards still do have a lot of fluctuations. But again, I just worry about these cards of value over this week. If we have big SBCs that are dropping, even if there's, like I'm buying, I bought a Chalmany tonight at 1.02 million coins because I thought that was very, very cheap. This card is very rare. Once this kind of panic selling and maybe a little bit of reward supply drops, I do think there's going to be people today that want to go out after weekend league rewards and, and buy some cards and try some things out. And I do think that you'll see a few prices go up on the market today. But I'm being very, very careful where I pick some of my spots on these cards. I'm trying to stick to out of pack stuff, right? Because that's the, going to be the safest spot on the market this week as we have a lot of this content that is looming. 
And, you know, a lot of it does not pertain to the actual market itself. It pertains more to SBC. So maybe club stock, a little bit of fodder if you want to. That might be kind of smart as we head into this period this week. Um, and, you know, a couple other things that we could see today, right? Monday on FIFA is always a day during promos that they drop upgrade packs. Now, that could also drain some coins off of the market today because there's some decent SBCs here that people would maybe want to craft. And there's a decent amount of cards and packs that people would also want to open, you know, upgrade packs or player picks for. Now, a lot of us are holding our breath for a player pick SBC, specifically the 80 or 81 plus player pick with three options, not two options, EA Sports. Give us three or four options for that player pick and make it decently cheap. And we'll be very happy, but I would expect some sort of upgrade packs released today as we head throughout this week. A lot of SBCs again here in the store. Mondays are always upgrade pack day. So watch out for that. I also think that they might be dropping some of these, you know, like uh, gamble SBCs as we like to call them. Last year on this very day, they dropped an 85 plus, I think it was an 85 plus double upgrade pack that they put out on this very date. Uh, it's kind of like one of those gamble SBCs, right? We had the 84 plus during the second week of team of the week last team of the year last week. So SBCs like that, some of those upgrade pack gamble, you know, 84 plus 85 plus or double 83 stuff like that. I think those types of packs could be released periodically throughout this week as well. I really don't know anything about um, a guaranteed future stars pack. I do not know if, and I do not think that's even in the code as of right now, but if that does happen, I will let you guys know about it. And then also for today's content on Monday, I would expect another um, sort of SBC or another way they're going to give us one of these foot future star swaps rewards, which that's actually a very interesting talking point. You guys may not have figured this out, and this is very interesting from EA. They put a swaps token in squad battles. Yes, inside of squad battles. So you're going to have to play squad battles this week to get this token next Saturday when squad battle rewards are released. You have to get gold three, which last week was like 8,000 points. I almost think that it's going to be double that this week with everybody going in and playing squad battles that normally does not watch for this gold three rank. And if you did not know about this, make sure that you, if you really want to grind after this token, this is where you had to do it. So EA is making you play some squad battles games this week. If you're trying to get every single token possible for the future star swap rewards, which I have decided that I am not. And this is something that's coming later on in the week. The 11th of February, this Friday is when the rewards will be released. And you're going to start having people opening a lot of these packs, claiming their future star team one pack, claiming their 85 times 10. That's the big one, right? This Friday, 85 times 10s come back out on the game, supplying fodder untradeable in the people's clubs. That's going to be resulting in an SBC frenzy. And I think that that's why EA's got so many SBCs planned is that they're going to put out a lot of SBCs this week. Then everybody's going to get a bunch of fodder and go do those SBCs with that extra fodder that they get from the 85 times 10. Just something to think about a little bit for later on this week. Now, one other thing to mention today is not one, but two. Yes, not one, but two. Future Star Academy players are coming. Of course, just like we talked about the Shaloba, and we've seen the Shaloba card, there are going to be two more released over the entirety of this promo. It might be a bit early to see one of them today, but I think if I remember correctly, last year and in previous years, they released them pretty quick so that you could get star grinding on those, get those players in your clubs. But Amine Guri um, from OGC Nice is leaked to be one of the cards that will be available through an academy objective, the left mid. Now, one thing that I like about these as well, and like I, I, I really like with Chaloba, is when the EA releases these, it's not very hard to get the first card. And, you know, a lot of these SBCs, not a lot of them, but one of the SBCs recently required future stars. And you saw cards like this Botman and Gakpo go up. I think it was on Saturday. They went from like 14K all the way up to 20,000 coins. So instead of having to go and buy one of these, all you have to do is go out and play a future stars objective, play a couple games, or, you know, even if you were just playing your normal rivals games, or maybe you're doing some other objective, you're very easily getting one of these cards, the first one, like the first card for Shaloba is like score four goals with English players, right? 
I have Harry Kane in my squad. That is done very easily. And that way you don't have to go out and spend to do an SBC. You have that card and tradable already for that future stars requirement in your club. So that is leaked player academy objective number one. Leaked player number two is Chukweze. This is going to be an interesting one. Hopefully they give him a really nice boost, but some uh, La Liga love here with this card, Chukweze. So that could be a really dope item as well. Now, these are not confirmed to be any specific order, but Chukweze and Amine Guri will be released as the next Academy players. And I think they'll be out. Probably one will come next Friday with Future Stars team number two. But I think the, the other one will probably come in the next couple of days and they'll get you sorted with multiple of those cards. I don't know if they're going to do a player pick like they did for Shaloba with these same cards, um, but they will be through the milestones tab and objectives. And that's one thing to kind of watch out for in this game very soon as well. Now, other big news, and this is what we'll end the video talking off with today is Icon Swaps is ending literally today. And this is, has a lot of people like, yo, Nate, what about Icon Swaps? It's ending. What's next? Are we getting Icon Swap? Um, you know, Two, is Icon Swaps 2 coming today? No, Icon Swaps 2 is not coming. There's literally no information. It's not being talked about. There's no leaks. If it was going to be coming, we would have a car design for the Icon Swaps 2, like the token, right? We would have that car design in the code. And as of right now, we do not have it. So that to me means there is literally no possible way that they're going to be dropping Icon Swaps on this game today. So just kind of keep that in mind uh, that if, if you are like procrastinating, to the utmost level, this is your last chance to get some of that done um, and get those, you know, whatever you're going to claim from Icon Swaps to get some of those games in. So um, one big move I did make on the account, we did make some nice coins yesterday trading some Vlahovic. Uh, but one move I did make is I actually ended up picking up a Messi uh, ones to watch because uh, Messi had a one goal, one assist performance yesterday. He technically would be the front runner for a team of the week from his side. I bought my Messi at 2.04 mil. He went to 2.3 mil um, when he scored that goal and had the assist and was man of the match, I believe. So I'm going to keep an eye on that card because I think there is maybe a slight bit of potential that if Messi starts to get in team of the week predictions and starts to be talked about and potentially getting into team of the week, that that wants to watch would rise. So I picked up myself a little uh, Messi at 2.04. And that one's getting bought at 2.1 almost instantaneously. So hopefully that card rises up a little bit more this week. But honestly, what I'm going to do this week on the market is I'm going to be trading with a lot of out of packs cards. I'm going to be keeping it simple. And I'm just going to be trading around the SBCs that are out and with the cards that are pretty hyped. Some of these future stars we've already traded with as well. I bought Vlahovic's yesterday. If you guys saw the tweet, I bought some Vlahovic at 520,000 coins and I sold them at five uh, 570-ish. He's now back down to about 560, but he needs to go lower for me. I mean, this goes back to 520. Yes, I'll get interested again. Um, Jude Bellingham, I would get interested if he was like 1.5 flat, maybe. But he's not even anywhere close to that. Uh, 153. So, yeah, these cards on the upper tier like Chalmeni, like Vlahovic, and like Bellingham, they're just very rare, which is really intriguing. Um, and I like Chalmeni because of the link that he has to that potential leaked center back card. So I picked up one of these at 1.02. Hopefully, this guy can rise up to maybe about 1.15. Up 100,000 coins would be perfect flip. Uh, about 50K profit on this. So that would be banging if that were to happen. But we're just going to keep a watch on this market. And whenever these big SBCs come, all the madness is going to ensue, right? And there's going to be a lot of stuff that goes on. And there's going to be a lot to talk about. But until then, I feel like everybody's just kind of waiting for all that. But upgrade packs could be coming today. That could be nice. I would expect some other sort of SBC, maybe a challenge SBC for um, another swap token, maybe a pack SBC. Um, and then I guess there's another potential for a player SBC too, since we have so many leaked player SBCs right now on this game. So that's the video for today. And it's going to be an interesting week. We're going to cover it all here as it unfolds every single day this week. So make sure if you are new around here to hit that subscribe button on the channel. But if you're hyped for future stars, of course, hit a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions or, or just to say what's up uh, to me in the comments. So we'll call the video there, boys. But thanks for watching again. I very much appreciate it. It has been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.